And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. And it is that line that separates the enlightened world from the darkness that surrounds it. And thus it is that free speech is the very pith that defines us as an enlightened people. Realize that that line is non-negotiable. It really is that simple. Non-negotiable. Realize that that line is non-negotiable. It really is that simple. Non-negotiable.